Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. I have got so many questions for Henna and Indigo step 1 and step 2 process. So I have recorded this another video which is like more detailed version of Henna Indigo 2 step process. So she is my friend and she has more than 50% of gray hair. She never dye or color. It's her first time coloring hair and she trusted me to color with all natural products. She wanted uh, to color her hair in black color, more dark color. So I suggested a two-step henna indigo process. So let's start. So for the first step, we are taking 100 grams of henna powder a tablespoon of avla powder and a tablespoon of aloe vera powder we can also add other herbs like hibiscus uh, i am also adding few drops of tea tree oil and i will mix all these ingredients with the tea water so i'm just taking uh, like two three cups of water and adding one spoon of uh, black tea powder you can also add hibiscus tea or green tea so I am boiling the tea water and after that I will strain it and keep it aside so that it is a little bit cooler. So to mix the henna paste I am taking 100 gram of henna in a bowl and I will take all the herbs which I am taking avla aloe vera and few drops of tea tree oil and I am mixing this with the tea water we just made. Make sure the tea water is not hot, it should be just warm. So add the tea water little by little and mix it. You don't have to add a lot of water for now, we can adjust it later. After you mix it well, just keep it aside for 3 hours and after 3 hours, the dye will be released. So let's check the dye release after 3 hours. Mix it well and if you want um, to adjust the consistency, you can add more water but make sure you add the water little by little. The, uh, the consistency of the henna paste should be like a yogurt like consistency. Okay, so now the henna paste is ready and we are ready to apply on the hair. So before you apply the henna paste on the hair, make sure you wash your hair. Just switch shampoo for at least two to three times so it will remove all the oil or dust from your hair and dry the hair and comb it pretty well. After that, you can start applying the henna. Now to apply the henna, wear the hand glove so that you will not color your hands. And you can also apply some Vaseline petroleum jelly around the hairline so that it doesn't stain your face or skin. Also make sure you wear something in dark color like dark color t-shirt or old t-shirt so that it doesn't color your clothes. So when I apply henna, I um, take it like section by section one section from the left and one section from the right and then i tie like a bun in the middle of the hair so that way i make sure that all the roots and hairs are completely covered with henna and like there is nothing left out this is the best method i have um, found uh, that color the hair perfectly after you apply the henna on the whole hair Please uh, wrap it with either cling wrap or you can also use some cotton scarf or you can also use shower cap to cover it. Make sure the henna is completely covered because we do not want to dry the henna on your hair. We want to keep it all wet so that it will not dry out your hairs. Because we are want to color the hair in black color in the two step, uh, make sure you keep the henna paste on for at least three to four hours. After three to four hours, wash your hair just with water 
no shampoo or conditioner after you wash your hair make sure you use some old towel to dry your hair so henna will also stain your pillow cover so make sure you use old and dark color pillow covers at least for two three days so as you see after the first step the gray color hair converted into orange color and now we want to make it dark so the two step is to apply indigo as the step number two you can do the step two with indigo within 72 hours after you apply henna so that means you can apply indigo within three days so let's start mixing indigo so for indigo i am taking 100 grams of indigo and i am adding one teaspoon of aloe vera powder just to add some moisture and you can also add a pinch of salt because salt helps uh, to extract like more indigo and it helps stick better to some tough hair so we are also mixing a pinch of salt and we can add all these with just warm water you do not need tea water you just need a simple water um, a little warm but not hot so add the water little by little and mix it well and then you just have to keep it aside like for 5-10 minutes so only mix indigo when you are ready to apply because indigo dye release very very quickly and after like few hours it goes all bad so as soon as you mix it make sure you are ready to apply so like after 10-15 minutes uh, mix indigo well uh, you can see like a little purple uh, layer on top of indigo that means the dye is started releasing and because it's two step we can just do not wait and just start applying the uh, application process is same to apply indigo but if you have like a very less gray hair i will recommend you to only apply indigo where you need it like only to the gray hair so some people have gray hair only on the front so you don't need to apply indigo for the whole hair you could just apply on the patches where you have white hair so cover all the hair properly with indigo paste and you can also wrap it with cling wrap or cotton scarf or shower cap and you can wash this off after two hours wash indigo with just water do not apply shampoo or conditioner so after the wash as you can see my client hair became black it's so gorgeous you can shampoo and conditioner after two days of indigo and you can also do deep conditioning if you think that your hair are little dry so this is my client hair after shampoo and conditioner so she also did a pretty cool haircut for a wedding and she's looking absolutely gorgeous She's very, very happy with the results and just um, also that it's all natural and there is no chemical in this process. So this is her hair after three, four weeks, as you can see, it's still very good. So you can reapply uh, the same process, uh, maybe after four to six weeks. Um, and you can also do just the root touch up. So if you just see like only few hairs got gray again, towards the roots or towards the front you can just do a little patches on those areas you don't need to apply the henna and indigo to the whole hair just do the touch-ups as and when required so as this is all natural you can reapply as quickly as within a week or two week there is no harm in reapplying henna in indigo some people complains that their henna indigo removes very very quickly from the hair like within a few days so there are many reasons you do not might have washed your hair properly before applying henna in indigo you might not have weight properly for the dye release of henna and you did not apply sufficient amount everywhere you might have been applying a lot of oil in your hair after henna and indigo that is the main cause why it disappears so quickly another reason may be the people wash hair very very often like three four times a week so i will recommend just to wash your hair for 
once or twice a week if you don't want this dark color like this black color and you just want like a little brownish tones colors then i will recommend a one step process of henna indigo instead of two step process please watch my other videos on how to get different colors while mixing henna cassia and indigo in different uh, combinations indigo doesn't work alone you have to apply it with henna if you apply indigo alone it will give you like a greenish tint and it will fades away very very quickly thank you for watching my video please hit subscribe and like my video